All right, so here is basically a couple minute breakdown of my entire lucid dream in life and what landed me here making these videos. So for me, lucid dreams started happening in my early teens and I was lucky enough where they actually continued with some consistency ever since then. But I don't know if it's because I was a teenage boy. I'm going to use that as my excuse at least, but I was immediately blinded by the fun and pleasure seeking aspects of it. And well, not that there's anything wrong with that, I would say, but you know, those experiences are never so meaningful to me to where it made me want to get out there and try and teach and spread the practice or anything. So then uh, fast forward a good 15 or so years of 2013, I find out about Tibetan dream yoga, the Western approach to the lucid dream, and I really realized I was wasting my time all those years, but basically realized how much more the practice could be. Um, then as I started, you know, opening my mind up to more possibilities and having some of these more meaningful experiences, that's when things began to change and I started to really feel kind of called to get out there and teach and spread this stuff. Right. So I turned to, you know, what anybody would at first to your close friends, family and loved ones and eh, kind of scared all them off pretty quickly. So I branched out a bit to my not so close friends and most of the same results. Then finally, once I was done talking the ear off of every of anybody that would give me their ear, I eventually led to me making a local meetup group here in Oahu. Some people in there told me about the Ohm Expo thing we got over here and they have these little hour presentation slots. So. I went over there and I gave one of those and, you know, it was a lot of work, but I, I really enjoyed it, you know. And then, uh, well, long story short, so I guess I, I made the meetup group, did the own presentation. Um, after that, I made a website, which was a waste of money. So that thing will expire pretty soon. Then um, eventually, you know, made the Instagram account and then YouTube videos. And here we are. All right, so what's my goal, or maybe you could even say, like, target audience with this stuff, yeah? And, you know, of course, I want to help anybody who's already into it and looking for help with their practice. I love to do that. But what would also be awesome is if you could even reach those people who, like, don't even think lucid dreaming is for them, you know, like my friends, for example. So I'm always kind of have that in the back of my head when I'm making these posts and stuff. And, you know, I can even, like, see a time where... Lucid dreaming is like as popular as say meditation is nowadays, or maybe even more so where it's basically like common knowledge that lucid dreaming is, you know, a scientific fact proven, you know, whenever in the seventies that it's a skill that can be practiced and improved upon, that it's something that we're all capable of. Right. And I'll end with this cause I would love to volunteer my time for it, but you know, why don't like, for example, hospitals be offering this as like a service, right? You have people who are bedridden for weeks or months or years at a time. I think they'd love to learn about this stuff.